Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome everybody. Today guys we mostly will talk about the euro currency since we have skipped it in our uh, weekly researches. Recent research we have dedicated to the Japanese yen and, and now we see that it was not in vain. This uh, job was not in vain and currently market shows nice upward action. I mean Japanese yen is according with our expectations and has hit the target that we have specified for the current week. Although this has happened a bit faster than we have thought initially. But right now uh, we will talk about the euro currency because uh, as I know this uh, currency period is, uh, has the special me special interesting for most of our farmers and the situation here is not quite simple uh, because the recent action is a bit lazy and the uh, market doesn't form any clear patterns that could uh, give us more clarity on what to expect and what really could happen here. Well, guys, in general, uh, the core of situation on the euro currency from the technical point of view stands on the weekly chart. And the major event that has recently happened, in fact, is the breakout through the 134.40 uh, weekly confidence support area. This was really strong support because that was not just the weekly confidence support. That was also the agreement with this a, B, C, top pattern, recall that we have discussed it and here when the market has the 100% extension it was in agreement with the weekly confidence support. So that was really our outstanding strong support area. That market has passed through with the gap down without no, no respect. So if you will take a look at the weekly chart you will not see any respect of this area on the weekly chart. Yes, on the, intra on the daily chart we see some bounce, minor retracements or something of that sort. But you should get the respect of the confidence support on the same time frame where this confidence support has been created. And on the weekly chart you do not see any respect of this support. And that tells how really uh, bears strong, the strength of the bears on the euro, on the euro currency. Also guys, recall the recent uh, CFTC data on the euro currency that shows the growing open interest and growing short positions. So our, uh, if we could call it the strength in the relative strength index of, of uh, CFTC report shows that uh, the, the part of short position has increased to the 79% in the overall uh, open interest. So that's really a very significant level. It's not crucial yet. So market still has 2-3% of the increasing of the sh net short uh, short position, but still it stands very close to the some uh, crucial numbers where market should take uh, some breath and uh, to, m to make some retracement. And uh, that's why uh, I think that we are stand somewhere near possible bounce to the upside. The retracement. Not necessarily that will happen on the current week because that's mostly the long term perspective since the safety reported the weekly data and um, not necessarily this will happen, happen right now but within the two three weeks probably we could get some uh, sizable bounce on the daily chart. And uh, other reasons uh, beyond the fundamentals moments, other reasons are pure technical ones and uh, recall what we have said that as market has passed through the confidence, strong confidence support, the next destination point that, that we we see and as the next target on the euro currency is an area of the yearly pivot support one. And this year it stands approximately at 130-60 area, somewhere in this area. What else we have here? Also, at 130-26 we have September monthly pivot support one. Also we have daily oversold in the same area. So here was no reaction on the oversold. Recall this. We, we have hoped on the uh, reaction because that was really outstanding combination of the supportive moments. The weekly confidence ABCD target oversold but no reaction has followed. 
just imagine how strength bears are right now on the euro on, on the euro currency. So the market just have taken some minor pause in a downward action and plunged down on Friday again. So uh, daily oversold and take a look 127 extension of the ABCD pattern. Fortunately or unfortunately, guys, but here we do not have any meaningful FIP support area, FIP support levels. So here we do not have this uh, type of the uh, tools in these areas, 130, 60 area. But I think that with, even without the FIB levels, the monthly pivot support, one yearly pivot support, one daily were sold, and then BCD targets 127 extension could could play some a uh, role in the possible bounce. Also, guys, don't forget about the CFTC data. So maybe market will accumulate more short positions right to this area and uh, here we could get something. Until this area what we have on the intraday charts on the 4 hour time frame chart we have the butterfly that we also have discussed uh, and take a look that we here simultaneously have the bullish divergence with the MACD indicator. Right? Shift the color. Okay. Well, uh, maybe market could show some minor retracement based on this butterfly, but I have the suspicious guy, suspicion, guys, that hardly we will get any visible retracement on daily chart until market will will not hit the major targets. Maybe a market will show some small retracement based on this butterfly, but that probably will be minor retracement. Maybe some kind of retracement. So if we will measure this swing. Maybe market will form something of that sort. It's approximately 131.85, maybe something of that sort. At the same time, guys, take a look that here we have the bearish grabber on the forward temperature that suggests some minor action to the downside. Uh, precisely speaking, maybe not even minor move, but market should take it out of these lows. And here, guys, situation could be different. So one, from one point of view, this grabber could be the reason for action right to the targets. So approximately for the 40, 60 pips down, right to these levels that we have just discussed. From the another point of view, if you take a look now, right now on the hourly chart, you'll see the same butterfly. And take a look, here we also have the minor butterfly. Okay? This market also haven't, hasn't quite hit the target. That's 127 of this minor butterfly coincides with 1618 of this large butterfly. Uh, 1618 of the hourly stands slightly lower, approximately 131 even area, something of that sort. So, uh, that being said, what conclusion we could make on the euro currency? We have as intraday uh, patrons, small patrons, as significant target around 130.60 area. So it means that market theoretically could show some bounce to the upside based on these patrons. But this bounce probably will, be, will not be significant. The major bounce, if it will happen at all, of course, probably will start from an area of the yearly pivot point, it's around 130.64, 130.60, 130.20 area, somewhere on this range. Market should hit it first before taking some significant retracement. That's why if you intend to trade these minor patrons, do not marry this position. Take the nearest profit object. So if you, if you would like to trade this butterfly, take the trade retracement, take profit at the trade retracement of this butterfly swing and be happy. Do not hold long positions because you have the untouched targets right below these patrons. So that being said, conclusion is follows. If even market will show any retracement based on these patrons, they will be probably minor, not very significant. And the major retracements, if it would, if they will happen at all, probably will start from an area of the yearly pivot point around 3060.